because it's Nikki Day. Not only song. is is it her yeah. birthday, yes, but <laughs> she's the MVP. <laughs> First of all, thank like, you. I'm so proud to call you a friend. Today is the moment of truth. I've invited Miss Nikki and Miss Sika over to finally get to the bottom of all this Molly drama. So my plan is to keep them nice and relaxed with a soothing massage. And if that doesn't work, I've got Tiara here for backup. Hey, Nikki. How are you, baby? I'm good. This is Tiara. Hello. Hey, boo. Miss Sika, this is Nikki. I know you guys already... We already mm -hmm. acquainted with no one of another. Yeah. We've never met officially. So I have no clue what Molly saw on this about to pop inflatable walking plastic surgery warning. Maybe it's her daddy's money, but whatever it is, I really don't care. I'm really glad Morgan set this up because we're about to get to the bottom of it. I brought you guys together because, you know, I hang out with both of y'all, you know what I mean? And I just don't want no tension. I want, if, I, if I'm having an event, I want both of you guys to be able to be there. Y'all need to talk. I came here today because I want to see what bitch could think she would even come and take my place, Miss Nikki, baby. But by the looks of Masika, I don't know what Molly was thinking. Did he pick up this hoe on the corner somewhere? There is simply no comparison over here. You know, I just, I don't understand what's going on with you and Maul. So maybe, you know, maybe he fed you something or maybe you thought something. So let's just get it clear. I've been with him for a year and a half. I'm his woman. We were about to move in the house. I had a ring from him. So I don't know if you understand the severity of our relationship. I just don't know what's going See, on. This is like Chinese that I don't speak because he's saying something you know, completely different. Right. But considering that he's saying he's your man and he's saying he's my man too, it does make it a bit interesting. So you you still think you're right now he's your man? That's what he says. No. According to my phone. My According sister, to my phone, you are not his woman. And that's vice versa. When I'm listening to Masika say that Molly is her man, I'm just looking at her like she's crazy. Everything she's saying is going in this ear and out the other one. Me and Molly, we broke up. A couple days later, I see pictures of you laying in the bed with his cat. I'm thinking, you're a homewrecker. And you would too if you were on But my how side. would I be a homewrecker if you said you were broken up? Because it's like, you don't waste no time. Everybody knows that man belongs to me. I That's never why knew. people tagged you and at you, me in your no, photos. No, no. Well, he, he said, posted the pictures on my phone, tagged himself, and wrote the caption. I can vouch for that because I've heard that too. I would love to believe you, but. My loyalty is with him. So are you still with Molly right now? Yes. And you're still with Molly? She's not with him. She's not either. Yeah, I am. I just found his condo for him. Still, we don't even use condoms, so I might have his I baby. I said condo, condo, not condom. That's nasty. Clean the plastic out your ears, bitch. Not only is she stupid as but she's nasty too. You a nasty bitch. I never knew you and him were together. Listen to this. No, just no, listen. You no, think no, no, that you I'm be just polite. Like, you be polite. I am. I'm no, you're not. No, you're listen, a bitch that's about listen, to get listen, cut listen, the out. Calm down. If you're too loud right now, stop talking to me. Like, you seriously. You gotta remember you're who you're talking to. Remember I don't give a You gotta remember who the you're talking to. You're not nothing to me, so why am I remember? Then stop talking to me. Be nothing. When you see me. Bitch, I'm talking to you. In real life, please. In real life. In real life. Seriously, not at my house. That ain't popping up word to me. That ain't popping up. Don't say another word to me. Sit down and chill out. Sit down. What's up, Morgan? What's up? Chill. That's what's up. I'm tripping. I'm sitting here. I'm good. She's so mad. I don't know for what. I'm not mad, honey. I don't give a rat's ass about you. You're talking, but your face isn't moving. The plastic is too much. I can't take it. This is all just a misunderstanding. Okay, Morgan, what's a misunderstanding? The fact that you think that she's coming for you and your men, and like, it sounds like a man just being a Man, I'm gonna let y'all get to this. I don't come for any woman's well, man. If, if you want to claim him, you can just go ahead and have him. I'm glad you know your place. Well, no, no, honey, I don't want leftover. Missy, you trying to take my leftover right. for a couple weeks? No, my man sweetie, loves me. You know exactly where he came back. No, I don't know. You I'm just cherry. He was. You like a peasant to us. Don't do it. Shut the. Yeah, Morgan, no, I told you I was gonna respect you know your what? house, you need to but know I swear for God, if no, this no, bitch no. says one more mother thing to me, anyway, you got what? I'm letting you know right you now. Don't, you don't let me know. You, you look you're real pissed hot. Off. You know, you don't. Cool. Damn, Damn, bitch. bitch. Whoa, whoa. Exactly, bitch. Go ahead, bitch. What you mad? You got my backpack? Exactly, bitch. Okay. Ooh, I look so good you're though. Full of work. Why are you so mad that I look so good? Get the dog out of my face. Don't come for me. Nikki, let's go. Where are you, bitch? out of my face.
What's going on? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank yeah. you. So do you. After that incident at Morgan's house, where I had to lose my cool and show that whole Masika a thing or two, I decided to meet up with Tierra for a real spa day. Not that shady that Morgan was entertaining. I wanted to um, catch up with you. I felt really, really bad about what happened the other day. And I didn't want you to think that I was ganging up on you. But I haven't known Masika that long. I met her through Hazel, my old friend. Okay. And, um, I don't know her well enough to take sides with her. When I left Morgan's little spa party, I had no idea who to believe. Nikki thinks Molly is her man, Masika thinks Molly is her man. Drinks were flying, weaves snatched out. I mean, cray. So, now I'm here to learn the truth. You know, every group got like a hoe in the group and you just toss them up when you need someone to f yeah. That's exactly what she is. I know that Molly did not f Masika. He just told me that all she did, Masika, was just like, she just f his f And obviously she didn't even do that good of a job because you know exactly where the f came back to. I just could not believe that went down like that. Like, she's such a bum. She just threw a drink in my face. No one ever throws a drink like, in my she face. She kept talking about these surgeries. I'm like, girl, don't hit that new nose now. <laughs> girl, how did you know about all that? Morgan showed us a picture. I mean, I didn't get what they were. They were like key keying about it. Morgan is just hella phony to me because it's like, don't sit here and act like you're my that friend. Was phony. And then you're that going was and funny. like researching a picture of me when I before I did my nose. Okay, cool. I was still pretty then, and I'm still pretty now. Yeah, I've had some work done. So, Morgan is just messy with a capital M. Obviously, Ray J is not keeping his hired hell busy enough. I'm gonna confront Morgan and I will let her know exactly how I feel. I already know the perfect time to do it too because I'm gonna provide some dancers for Ray J's video shoot and I'm sure Morgan's ass is gonna be there. You're gonna go up to the video? I'm just gonna bring a couple girls. They, they wanna show off their moves, whatever, girl. You know I'm doing him a favor. You know, he's doing us a favor kind of thing. Speaking of music, you know I sing. I'm thinking about working with the young bird. Listen, okay. me and Berg, we have had our issues too. He was your boo before? No, 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 oh, not okay. at all. We just, he played me some stuff that I really, really like. As long as things don't get messy, I support your decision, girl. I don't you know. think that they'll get messy in this in this instant. We're both passionate about music and we just want to make great records. Cheers to that. Cheers. I like you. I like you too, Sierra. Hi. Hey, sexy. Hi. <laughs> Come in. Okay, look. I'm to make oh my cute. God, Hi. you did. Tierra's my girl, and after her relationship with Ray J, I know she knows a thing or two about being brokenhearted. So it's time to catch up on my newly single status and fill her in on all the drama between Molly and I. Now that Molly and I are broken up, Tierra and I are both single and on the market again. And that can only mean trouble. I see you have your titties out tonight. I have my titties out tonight because... Because... It's been a while since I've had them out. Honestly, I have not been with anybody in I don't know how long. So, so you're celibate. But I don't know if that's the word to use because I still use a vibrator. Do what makes you happy. At least I'm not being a whore. Right. Well, for me, you know, um, I have my titties out because uh -huh, I'm single. Wait a minute, back it up. So remember last time I was telling you if I find out about him and Masika, I'm gonna be pissed off. So what happened? Popped up at her photo shoot. She was talking about how she flew to Vegas more than, he told me twice. I said, well, have you guys had sex? And she's like, she told me they f and you know, he's still denying it, which we were broken up. Like, just be a man and own be your shit. That's what no. I told you before. Right. Like, come on, bitch. He lied to me. And I just feel like at this point, I just have to move on with my life. I was wondering how long the back and forth between Nikki and Molly would go, but I'm happy that she's learned the truth and is moving on. Kudos to you, bitch. <laughs> you, what the hell have you been doing? I told you that I was gonna work with Berg. Oh, so how did that go? I walked in. Do you see this right here? This yes. ain't got nothing on what was going on. Roses, candles. I wasn't even ready at all. So he's never told you he liked you before? I still don't think it's that. You're in denial. In denial about what? You know he likes you. He's not just gonna do all that extra stuff for someone he don't care, like, one of And impress. you know what? I'm flirtatious anyway, so right. that is what it is. But I just want to focus on my career. I just really don't want anybody right now. Like, this is the first time in my life that I'm comfortable with being single. Fire pushing up on me was a little left field. <laughs> and right now, I'm just not on that. I'm totally focused on my music and my hustle, and nobody's gonna get in the way of that this time. No sense now, we're both single. I need you to come out with me somewhere. There's a new strip club opening up, and it's just like a preview launching, you know? So, you know, 
my family are the landlords, but they know the new owners and stuff. So, you know, I just want to go and show them love and see what's going on and look fabulous like we always do. Okay. And just go over there and just Have turn fun. up. I'm excited. And we're not going to get in too much trouble like always. Please, no. of my friend Sam's Gentleman's Club in Vegas, which sits on one of my family's properties. Ace of Diamonds will be just another piece of our growing empire. So I brought TT with me to help me turn up and have a good time. I'm still really mad that Masika turned out to be a fraud bitch instead of a true friend. Not only is her fake ass cozy enough to Berg, she has the nerve to invite my ex bestie Tierra to her event. See, that's just another stab in the back from these unloyal hoes. We have unfinished business. She gon' hear from me whether she likes it or not. What do you think they gotta show us underneath that thing? the billboard of his new club in Vegas. My parents own the property that the building sits on. So I thought I would show my pretty face. But the face, or rather the naked flat ass I'm looking at, belonged to that hoe, Masika. Bitch, is that Masika? Not only that, I was there when that rat took the pictures and she never said a thing. If this bitch thinks I'm gonna let her face grace the entry of my family's property, then she must not know me at all. It's Masika Kalisha. <laughs> stayed around and have a cocktail at the bar. I got to see all these fraud fake ass hoes in the same room. I ain't even seen Tierra since I moved out the apartment. And the fact that she's kicking it with Masika now, it's like these bitches deserve each other. Pop champagne. So I'm gazing through the crowd and whose face do I see other than that plastic cabbage patch Nicki Minono looking bitch. <laughs> Kinda glad that you're here, though, so I can see the look on your face when you find out that my face is plastered all over mommy and daddy's building. Oh, pick your face up off the floor, sweetie. I see Hazel standing over there in all of her fraudness. And to be honest, I don't have two words to say to her. Besides, I'm here with Nikki, and this reunion between Molly's two girls should be way more interesting than anything that Hazel E's crater face ass has to say. Well, hello. Congratulations. Thank you. You look absolutely that was, gorgeous. That was a surprise, bitch. Thank you for coming. <laughs> hello. So you guys had a little trick up your sleeve. When I walked in your photo shoot, you were doing it for my club? But that's my club. Put it on the landlord. Your, your parents are the landlord. But I can get you off the billboard, you can't, too. No, you can't. You don't understand Listen, I'm see, the here's boss. The thing. You're not the boss. I work no. for the club. You work daddy's credit card. Well, well, well. It looks like the backstabber Masika got more problems than just me. If they were here, they will be the boss. Oh, well, I'm the boss. Miss Boomerang. I just threw her out and she came back. First of all, pause. You know I can't pass up an opportunity to go and mix things up. What up, TT? I haven't seen you since the move out. And what's crazy is, like, word on the streets. It's some crazy Bird out here calling you his boo. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, we might have had our issues, but I never thought we would, like, go behind each other on no a Well, first of all, I'm not Burke's boo. Oh, so, no, like, I was like, TT could no way be doing that. Well, no, you that. actually said that's what Tierra's known for, so she could be doing it, but I hope she wouldn't. Actually, that's why, why don't you said? see your way out this conversation? Because I don't really see what this is. Well, why did you see your I way back see in the club what me and Tierra have anything to do with you? Hold up, wait a minute. I want to know what the f*** you been saying to this bitch about me. Right, because you're a bum bitch. You f*** everything in these streets. You're a sex addict. You're known to f*** everybody's man. Wait, 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 wait. You're, you're an alcoholic. You're a drunk bitch. You need rehab. And, uh, and a whole bunch of stuff. And really? A whole bunch of stuff. That's just a story. She's life. making half the <laughs> up. Which half? You know what? It's one thing to hear all the trash talking that Hazel did to Berg. They were in an argument and she let loose. I get that. But for this mother bitch to run to Masika and Kiki about my nose, that's crossing the line. I don't even know Masika. This is a person that I've lived with and I considered a friend. Bitch, 
You must have lost your complete mind. You're making yourself look like a fool. I'm not f***ing Berg. I don't want to f***ing Berg. What more do you want to hear? I believe in the code. You know rule number but one. But if you believe in the code, you would have told me what you were saying. Actually, rule, actually, that's not. If you would have never turned up on me in the house, I would have had no reason well, to babe, move out. So don't talk about a code right now, because if you want to take it back one. to me moving but, out the house, then you're taking it back to say, Tierra, we don't f*** with each other no more. So you're not his boo? T. You said he was frauding you out. You said you didn't f*** him. He is frauding me out. And Bert frauding me out, too. So why don't you understand that? Why do I get to have your back and you don't have mine? Straight up. Stop. Straight up, T. Why did what you do it? What the f*** do you want to hear? Why did you do it? Because I like the record. And that's you. Good luck. So all my fraud-ass fake ex-friends want to join together against me? I don't need none of y'all hoes in my life. I'm out. So who? Huh? Good luck. Oh, God. Seriously, where's the damn security? Watching Berg's harem explode was fun. I didn't even get to say everything I wanted to say to that whole Masika, but I think Hazel was everything she could handle for one night. Never fear, though. I'll have my moment. Raggedy ass in this mother So today we have our fitting for the fashion show, and there's so much to do. It's a good thing that I stepped in because TT is nowhere to be found. With Princess on board, I also asked Milan to feature his brand new underwear line and bring a little man candy to the show. So even if TT totally flakes, we'll still be covered. I feel like I need the nude by Nikki up on the thing, and I need your bitches catwalking. Oh, bitches will be catwalking. That's what I'm saying. Nikki told me to come down to the venue for the model call, and I'm hoping that we can iron out the final details for the show. I know that Hazel's helping out with the event. I have my patterns. Now all I need is some models to measure. And then my manufacturer is going to whip these things out. It'll be tight, but I know I'll be ready for the show. How much time do you think we're about to have? Hey, TT. Hi. Hi. Welcome, baby. Hi, boo. Hi. You look great. I mean, it seems like you're recovering well. <sighs> I got a rack for you. Well, um, I wanted to do my stuff fit to size, so I just brought my patterns. Wait, see, but when is when are these gonna be done, bitch? Because that, that show gonna, we have like less than a week. Yeah, they're gonna be done. I'm glad that TC made it here today, but all she got is some paper patterns. Girl, this is a fitting. I'm glad that Hazel got involved, and maybe she was right about bringing in these other designers. I'm just worried what TT's reaction is gonna be once she finds out. So, well, this is the thing. So, because we're getting ready for the launch, I added Milan. Milan. Oh, Milan's in the yeah, show. Yeah, Milan's, he's in the show, too. I thought that, that we should have a little man candy at the event, too. Like, we yeah, are women. Oh, girl, you, you see know? me. And just so you know, because you know I was doing this event with Princess. Whoa, 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 now. What the hell is going on here? First, Hazel was helping out. Now it seems as if she's taking over the whole damn event. First of all, nobody ever told me, Hazel or Nikki, that we were bringing on other designers. And to be honest, all this has me so flustered that I ain't even noticed Princess's ass standing on the other side of the room. I'm down for a couple days because of surgery, and they asked the one mother that I got a problem with to join the show. Hey. I don't want you to change anything that but you're doing. I think you should hey, do what you're hey, doing with Princess. Don't you love this? I just don't want to be a part of the show. It's okay. I think that that's beautiful. Well, we initially had this idea. It was me and Tiara's idea. I'm good. She doesn't want to do it because she's not ready. I'm like, ready. Are the models going to wear paper down the runway? Why would you guys even want this energy at your fashion I show? I didn't want it. I don't I you can put it to the side because I work with oh, people. It's all on me, huh? Oh, but she but don't she give don't a She don't care. And she should be the one mad. She that's should the be thing. the one mad. That's what I can tell you. I was around y'all when y'all hung out. I would be mad too, but if she willing to let it go, then you should you too. You should let it go. You act like me and Hazel came here to jeopardize your business or whatever. I never said that you did that. I didn't say you did, but you're acting like you did. And I never, I never did anything to you. And all we said was, she never did it. What do you mean? Let's not say we never did nothing, because there was a lot of things that have been okay, done. So, so what's but the thing? So have, why are we here? We might have built a bridge and got across it. Yeah. But I know I never slept with my best friend's ex-boyfriend. Oh I know for a fact that that has never happened for me, which is the rule number one that you don't do. No, but no, everybody has so. done Ain't nobody perfect in this room. So cute. Listen, I love how listen, cute these bitches listen, are. Listen, They're listen. so 
Thank you. you. I came here to prepare for a fashion show with Nikki, but instead, I got four fake-ass wannabes taking sides against me. And Hazel, I was by your side when your nose almost fell off from your accident in Dubai, and you repay me by bringing up some old ancient-ass young bird <laughs> Really? You talk to Hazel, you talk to Nikki, so of course you're gonna respect them in their place. As she should, because we've given her no reason to disrespect us, unlike you. You have given her reason to disrespect you, because you disrespected her by going back to her man and doing some fraud <laughs> Just like you disrespected me and being friends with Masika Berg. <laughs> just like you disrespected Nikki by getting in her face and doing some fraud <laughs> Molly. You disrespect everybody. I didn't come into this event with ill intentions. I just wanted to help my freaking friends with the fashion show. But got real, and it's like, hold on, pause for a minute. Let me go ahead and check your ass, because I actually haven't done that yet. You with the wrong bitch, Miss Tierra Marie. I'm not the one, honey, and I'm calling a mother spade a spade, bitch, and you the queen hoe. That's the point that you don't understand, and that's what you really need to get together right now. No, it that's can't what be you all need to get together. Us. It that's... has to be you. Own it. So Spend what about it? Always so what about it? Why you so hyped up? Stop. Why you so hyped up? I'm not, because you keep talking Yeah, you talking to me. I'm steady. No, you're not. I'm loyal to you not. I'm loyal to you not. You're not loyal to the end, because you want to tell me. I'm not going to be loyal to you. Now you're switching up as soon as I get in your face. No, because you can't be disrespectful. All right, so then don't act like you loyal. You don't act like Listen to Tierra talk about loyalty has got me laughing my ass off. This is starting to get fun, and I just need my popcorn, because this is one hell of a show. Woo, T -T. Hey, you should keep it cute. Yeah. <laughs> Hear me roar. King Kong, King T in this bitch. F you. You're a fake ass bitch. I f was your friend. Since when were you my friend when you were f Berg in the alley, or were you being your friends with all, I never f Berg. Maybe not f maybe f him on the couch. Girl, ain't nobody f nobody. All of this alley talk is just nasty. It's time that these ladies get over this little boy drama, put on their big girl panties, and start worrying about this fashion show. Does anybody remember that? You the one who was being a dumbass hoe when you knew this wasn't yours in the first place. So let's keep it all the way funky, ho. Think you were for tracks. No, bitch, for do tracks. what you're good at, boo. Bitch, do what you're good at. What are you good at? I'm just gonna walk her out. Yeah, though. way to go I'm with your bitch out. ass. You f***ing pray to face, oh. big nose. hard trying to get together this new project. And you know what they say, work hard, play hard. So today I'm meeting up with my girls and my old roomie Andrew to celebrate Nikki's birthday. Andrew is one of the closest people to me in LA. We used to live together for a minute. I know I can count on him for anything. Hey, oh my goodness, hey, look you? at you. me the MVP, but it doesn't really make me feel good. I haven't really talked to Safari since the incident, and Rose has only been talking to me about business, so I don't really know where either of us stand. I have an event coming up at Rose's store, launching my lingerie, and honey, the show must always go on. Guys, what are we doing after this? Because after this shot, honey, none of us could drive, though, after no, this. No, I can't drive, bitch. We gotta call an Uber, honey. We're gonna go to the next place, and then we're gonna call an Uber from no, there. No, we're calling an Uber from here. Hi. Wait, Tisa, can you even get an Uber, bitch? Uber, are you Uber. banned? No, I'm banned. But I thought that Uber was like two, a year or two ago. Because I didn't agree to the plea deal. And what the did you do to her? I didn't do About a year ago, I got into an incident with an Uber driver. And there are still pending charges against me. I need to be focused right now, getting my music back on track, not dealing with this dumbass case that just won't go away. So what kind of charges is he trying to press against you for what, doing what? Um, well, petty theft for one, because petty I did. Petty theft? I, what well, the I, was, I was upset. The police came and they said, a citizen's mother arrest. Have you ever heard of that, a citizen's arrest? You were in jail? Yeah, a citizen's arrest, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I could be in jail for 30 days to 
six months, so stop laughing, okay? I'm really concerned about Tiara because when she drinks, sometimes her temper could be a little bit out of control, and it honestly scares me. I have distanced myself from her a little bit, but maybe it's time for me to step in as a friend and really let her know what's going on. Where does it stand? You have to go to court, or what's going on now? I'm going to trial. But if God wants me to sit down, then I'm gonna sit down. Even if God wanted you to sit down, you don't have to do it like that. I've made my bed and now I'm laying in it. I'm not proud of this mess, but I'm dealing with it. I've done nothing wrong, and hopefully the judge can see that. And if not, then what can I do? You're such a bad bitch. Can we cheers? Cheers, Guys, cheers to all of our future. I was just in there crying. And then I met this girl who was being charged for murder. Let's sit down, my feet kind of yes, hurt. Yes, girl. Bailing TT out of jail has me really worried about my friend. I don't think she even sees how out of control her life is right now. This jail sh all the that you going oh, through? Oh, it's a setback. It's just, yeah. for what? For what? What do you think it is? You think it's your temper? Do you think it's the alcohol? I think that the alcohol ignites my temper. Everybody can turn up and drink and all that, but sometimes I feel like you kind of remind me of my brother. Mm -hmm. And it scares me because I think that you might have a little bit of a problem with it. At this point, it's just about growing and building your career, everything, and you can't keep taking these 10 steps back. You know, people are always like, you know, when are you gonna put out a new, you know, song or a new album or something? And I'm always like, I'm working on it. I was too embarrassed to say and admit, you know, that I had a, a, a an alcohol problem. God has spared me so many times, and if I don't get it together now, it's just like, kind of like a slap in the face. Honestly, my reputation for drinking and turning up, being involved in all types of mess, is holding me back. To think that I'm the only person to blame for my career not being where I want it to be, honestly sucks. Andrew was like, yeah, sometimes she just, even in the morning, she'll wake up and have a couple shots before she goes in the shower. And I'm just like, well, do you feel like it's a problem to the point where you need help, like, to go to rehab? I, I'm strong enough to go cold turkey. I just wasn't ready to go cold turkey you know, because like, I, I had so much on my mind and I'm like, I know I'm gonna wanna drink. So I'm not gonna make a promise to myself that I'm gonna stop right now. My brother Omar said he had things under control before he passed, but he really didn't. I see a lot of similar habits in Sierra that I did in my brother. She may really have a problem and she needs to stop it before it gets too late. Tiara, like I can't explain to you like the hardest feeling in the world. Like going to the hospital and she just say, you have to say bye. And I just hold his hand and I'm like, please God, wake him up. Just please, I'm begging and pleading. I feel like I should have been there more. I feel like I could have done more. You have to be careful with your decisions because if something happens to you, what's going to happen to you, you know, your friends and your mom and people who love you, you know, and I, I feel like that's something that you forget, you know? <laughs> to hear Nikki compare me to her brother is quite shocking, and that makes me very, very sad because that could be me, you know? So there's more reasons for me to get my together other than myself. It's everybody that's rooting for me and that loves me and wants to see me do well. Whatever you need, I'm here. And always talk to me because I'm not here to judge you. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm here to support you and, and to help you. Yeah. What I do, you feel me? <laughs> but no, I mean, I would love to work with you. Maybe we can link up in the studio or whatever works. Yeah. I just know Lyrica, and I just feel like she just wouldn't be into that. I don't think she gonna be too pressed if her, if he working with an up and coming artist that don't want him like that. What? Oh, what you doing here? This is the party that you was talking about with Zach said. What, what's going on? This supposed to be a Lucy exec party. Ain't nothing executive about this stock fest. Lucy party? Well, I didn't know. You told me it was a bunch of execs and all this and a red carpet type. Like, you know, you know, relax. No, because every time you're in a situation, you talk about Nikki, I'm going with Nikki. This is the type of stuff that goes on. No, I'm not going to take the blame for nothing. I didn't think that you couldn't have friends. I'm sorry. You said exactly. How does she know exactly? You said she got exactly. What do you mean? How do I know exactly? Do you think I know pissed off when Akbar brings up my drinking. He knows that that's a sore subject for me. I'm trying to 
tried so hard to move on from those issues, and I don't appreciate him bringing it up. When I met her, she got out of rehab. I was in for her when she was in rehab. Okay, so who are you? She's been on the right about me. Stop talking about me. Let's go. This must be daddy or something, because there's a lot of... Don't be afraid of him. like a villain from a scary movie who you don't want to okay? Because he's absolutely controlling and possessive, and I don't really know if he has her best interest. You got it. You got it. What are you doing here? Come to get my woman. What you mean? Come to watch and see what you was what you rude to my friends. Now you starting to come at me. i never seen her fall back like that. And he's thinking he gonna come up in here and disrespect me, this one, that one, just so he can have full control of her. I told you I want you to be a socialite. That's it. It was a coochie party. I don't know what the kind of party he was. I was standing outside talking to my friends. I don't want this to happen to me. Daddy and my right parents and I had talked to TC about this woman claiming she's Akbar's wife on social media. She acted like it's old news. Get you, coming in. Uh, I feel like you the lead singer in R&B. I'm the only singer. I know that's right, bitch. There has to be something more going on that TC does not know about. So parents set up a meeting with Sade. You know, the one that calls herself Akbar's wife. First of all, how did you even get this girl to agree to come here? She has a clothing line. I reached out to her on social media, basically told her that you're interested in investing into her. So you use me, bitch. You use I told me. you I need your help. I said I'm gonna use so just play your part. Look, I had to think fast and come up with something quick. And since Nikki got the bags, why not lie and tell Sade she wanna invest into her stupid ass clothing line? Hi lady. Hey. Hey. How are you? I'm good. Hey. Nice thank you hey. for having me. Hey. You're welcome. Nikki, nice. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Sade. Nice to meet nice you to in meet person. You. So I reached out to you because I saw your clothing line. Right. Yes, and Miss Nikki, she loves your clothes. So what is your relationship? What are you her like? Oh, this is my own girl. You know, we have. She thinks she my manager. <laughs> so you, you see know, what I'm saying? I gotta yeah. check the money. <laughs> and I'm just nosy. Right. You feel me? So talking of being nosy, I was like on your page, and I see that you're like with someone that's dating my friend, Tierra Marie. Pause. Um, are we here on business or are y'all here to talk about my personal relationship? Well, it was like, I... It was kind of like, it is still business, but we just kind of want to see because we want to tell you what we knew, too. Okay. Because if this is your man, too, I think that but woman to woman, you would want to know, too, what we know. Right? Lately, Tierra's been dating this guy who's been on your page. I just want to know, is the guy that's on your page, is that your husband? That is my husband. Are you guys really married or you just, like, call yourself wife? No, we are really like, on paper. I don't play those type of games. Okay. If I'm dating somebody, I'm dating somebody. If that's my man. out here, you stay in a hotel or y'all stay no, together? we have a spot here. We have a spot in Atlanta. We have a spot in Dallas. So Dallas. how the hell he be... I'm just confused. I'm not gonna... Because they're Cause always they together. together. The house too. They're always together? Always together. Oh. They're always together? If they're always together, then why are we together? You know, clearly you're in the picture. You right. know what I'm saying? Because you know, obviously they have some type of arrangement. I mean, so you don't know about the arrangement. What I'm saying is, whatever he does, that's his business. I don't oh, have so anything to do. They have like with. an open marriage. What I'm saying, Paris, I don't know you well enough to even I I indulge. This woman acts like she knows about Tierra and Akbar's relationship. If that's what their arrangement is, that's fine. But leave my friend the hell out of this. If she has any questions, she can come and ask me. He's a womanizer. He's, a, he's not a woman. You don't think he's a womanizer? Don't disrespect my husband. So he's dating my friend. But Okay, but he's not a womanizer. So, don't say so stuff like that. So what does like that mean, that. though? Don't say stuff. But he's married to you and he's dating my friend. So that's not that? a womanizer. So what is it? Y'all don't, don't know what she got going on. Maybe she don't want to tell you. I don't know. But he's... She's just in denial. But it seems like she don't even care that her husband's banging my friend. It's more to this than she's admitting, and I can feel it. She wants to invest in my company. No, she or... don't. Okay, she don't. well then, what the f am I still exactly. for? I don't know why. Right. Right. I don't know why. Bye. 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 Have a good Bye. Day. Bitch, you brought me here. Yeah, okay. See, Brooke told me that Akbar, of the other woman, works at a gym called MDE, so it wasn't really that hard to track down. Me and Nikki agreed to link up at the spot, but I ain't running down on this girl unless Nikki's here. This girl looks like she's ready to go. Like, she looks like she's ready to go. Wow. How you doing? How you doing? This is good. How long have you been working out? I work out all my life. I took it serious about five years and a half or so. You've been working out training for like five, six years? Yeah. Wow, so this is your gym? Wow, this I is have great. for about two years. So what does MDE stand for? 
MBE stands for Music Does Entertain. My do is into music. Oh, so this is you and your boo mm -hmm. What's his name? His name is Akbar. Oh, that sounds strong. Yeah. Oh, that's like a man. Yo, I'm real good. Cause this was too easy. It just fell right in my lap. Thanks, girlfriend number two. It worked out. Hey, hey. okay. How can I help you? Hey. How was your China? You know, love so it. Know each other? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Alejandra. You see, she got the cute body too, but your body ain't like hers though. It's my girl Alejandra. She cool. Yeah. And girl, guess what? What? It's true. Yeah, that's a man. What you talking about? Akbar? Yeah. Akbar, everybody's a man, clearly. Hold on, hold on. Why you want to know about him so much? Because, because he's, he's dating, dating our friend. No, he's dating friend. our friend Tierra. 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 Tierra Marie. Okay. So you're fine with that. Yeah. You're aware that he's married to Sade. I have a very clear understanding of what's going on. So everybody's like a side bitch then. Like side. Because like, I don't know. Why do you want to know so many questions about him? Because the way that you know Tierra, she don't know you. So to be fair to my friend, I'm finding out information so I can tell her because she's hurting. I think she has value to her. I mean, no. she's driving one of her cars. He's adding to her. Wait, she's driving one of y'all cars? Yeah. So like a sister wife. It's not. I think That's you're a person that I choose. I think you're manipulating. I think you want to be part. I don't want to be part of this. I don't, I don't think want him, baby I don't think girl. He might want me now, but I don't want him. Your soul is ugly. But he's a liar and have three different bitches. So who the is better? You're a clown. But I get you're money, though. You know what? OK? Get on so my jet. I, I need you here. Get out. I'm not getting out. You don't want to make me get you out. Oh, yeah? Hey, time out, time out, time out. I love Nikki and all, but I ain't going to jail fighting Chewbacca. At the end of the day, we got every receipt we came here for. Let's take this to Tierra. Nikki, let's just, let's just go. Nikki. All right, let's go. Yeah, please. Go. No problem. And I, next time you, you know, if you feel like coming to the strip club, I got to make some little extra money. I got to have more. All right, please. I don't want to be all involved in Tierra's relationship drama, but I cannot let Akbar ruin her. He doesn't only have a wife, he got another side bitch who isn't Tierra. I just need TT to know everything, and then maybe she'll come to her senses. So what is up, bro? Honey, just working. Sis is busy. Yeah, exactly. You busy, and guess who else is busy? You? Agbar. Busy. Are you still stuck on the blog stuff? Oh, I'm not stuck on the blog stuff, but something in my gut, and I have a really big gut, I felt like he really was married. So what I did was I reached out to the girl, Sade, on social media. Basically, she has a clothing line. I lied and told her that Nikki wanted to invest in her clothing line. She comes to meet with us. Oh, so you sat, yeah, up. sat down with her. Come to find out, they really are together. Yeah, she said they've been married for like six years. She said legally. Yeah, she really said she, they're married. Saw the ring. And she was showing us videos of that, and they just celebrated they just her birthday. birthday. She said they got a place in LA, Atlanta, Dallas. and Dallas. Yes. I asked him about Sade twice. You just been flat footed lying to me. The top, the bull, it ain't even just Sade. It's another female. So are they married too? Was this some well, cocky bucket? But get this, she know about Sade too. So it's like oh, it's everybody so oh, it's together, so but you. But the thing is that's so crazy is that they all know about you and they're all okay with it. It's like he's using Tierra he to get on. He ain't worried about me, yeah. None of them, and he's pretending one of them that he cares. Home. Right. I'm broken hearted by the whole situation. So what you want to do? Anything you want to do from here, I'm with you. I'm your friend. I'm here to support you regardless no matter what. But I've already talked to him before. So it will have to be a whole, like, round table discussion for one or two or three or four or five or six of his concubines. I'm out here shaking and baking in L.A., so it's only right that Nikki invite me to her boss bitch brunch. On top of that, my girl BK just invited me to London for her album tour. BK done told me the house in London got like 80 rooms, so I hit up my girl and Britney, and let me hit up my girl Nikki. We about to turn up. This is like the hottest brunch. It's a little light work, baby. But you know, I come bearing good news. Tell me. So, Bridget is having a concert in London. She invited me. So you know what? I'm going to invite you. You know I'm always out for a girl's trip. Never been to London. Might go to the Prince. Megan is one of them. Huh? <laughs> you know, she could be a cousin or something. I respect Paris for having the lady boss to tell me that she wasn't coming to the press conference. But Nikki has been MIA. She didn't even invite me to this brunch today, which is extra insulting. 
but it's a reoccurring event. So it wasn't hard to figure out where it was gonna be this time. So, when is this trip? I think like next week, just know we're going. Hey, I'm sick now. I'm just saying this is gonna be really quick. Oh. Where were you the other day, honey? With my dad in the hospital, Tiara. Oh. So you wanna bring family into it? Bring family into it? I needed you for one moment. You mad at the wrong person, baby. I'm mad at the wrong person? You know how selfish you sound now. right now, Tiara? Wait, so you upset because she didn't come? Or call or say I would have answered the phone call if I wasn't in the mother hospital. I couldn't explain that. Relax. Because the next day I was Relax. already locked. You know how delusional this sounds? How delusional? The world does not revolve around Tiara Marie. I've been there every single time she's been down and she's needed me for something. And now the one time that I had to excuse myself and be there for my family, she trying to use that against me? This is something I should have just excluded myself from. He's trying to come for you. Next, I feel like he's gonna come for me. Come for you how? I don't know what he's capable of. You've done nothing wrong. Exactly, but I'm saying that so how if he's thinking him? that he's an opportunist, he might try to sue me because he's gonna think I slandered him. Sue her and I try to pressure you to do this. It's not about you, Nikki. You always make it about no, but you. I, I'm going through this. I challenge Nikki's fake reason for not coming to my press conference. And now we have the real reason. Thanks for letting me know who my real friends are. I realized you called me selfish, too. Sit over here with you. It is because I'm telling you, my dad was sick, Tierra, so that's how I feel. I was there for you when my mom was going through Your brother died, and I was there for you. And you weren't for me. I was in attendance. And I'm not here to attack you. All three of us have all experienced revenge porn. There's years of history here. It hasn't always been good, but at the end of the day, when you're down, you want your friends around. I don't want to ever feel like I'm insensitive towards you. You've been there for me, and I think many times I've been there for you prior. So you know what? I apologize if you feel like I wasn't there and I didn't get to explain myself to you. We both love each other. I'm not gonna keep doing this back and forth, and you know that. You still love her. Yeah, so that you're not don't go away. Garage, you're just upset. You still got the aqua on you. You pissed off. You get what I'm saying? You going through something real serious right now, T. I am going through something serious right now, and maybe that's enough to be dealing with. I can appreciate what Monice and Paris are saying. One day, when I'm past this crisis, maybe I'll be able to see Nikki for more than just this dark moment that we're having right now. Way to turn lemons into lemonade, friend. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love & Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there, and subscribe, all right? Cheer it!